I just don't understand your mindset here, Mr. Winston. I don't get why you don't understand. I explained everything already. Can I just go now? You're clearly not ready to go back to living normally. Now, will you please restate the occurrence that happened this past Thursday in detail? I was walking to work. It was about 8.30 in the morning. I'm walking and I'm whistling this, this old tune that's stuck in my head that Every Day by Buddy Holly. Anyway, I was walking along my usual path, uh, people walking by me. What types of people? Well, I imagined they were normal people. I mean, I'd seen them every day. Well, if you saw them every day, what did you think of them? Did you ever talk to them? Well, I was getting to that. No, I don't ever talk to them. I, I was thinking of all these folks, how I get a sense of melancholy from their sheer appearance. For example, there's the man in the coat. He always looks glum, seems like a bother. And then there's the one who's always reading a book while he's walking. Never gotten a glimpse of his full face. Seems to me like someone who never pays attention. That's all I can really remember. That's fine. Go on with the story. Well, that's when I decided I had enough of this routine. I heard something. I didn't know where it came from. It was telling me to do something. God, this... this hell. Was I to do this my whole life? I suppose not, right? See the same people do the same things? I had to do something, anything, to get me away from this. I wondered how fast it would go and how much time is there left for us. So I ran. Ran. I wanted to get away from this routine, this mindset. Where did you run to? Well, I didn't exactly know at the time. I was just trying to go somewhere no one would find me. So I ended up at this old warehouse on East 24th Street. I have the fence. What? I'm sorry, please explain.
you need help, sir? Yeah, yeah. Hey, could you could you get me down from here? Uh, no. These shoes are new, and I'd rather not tarnish them. Uh, look, please. I, my leg's stuck. I, I just need a little bit of a lift. Can you please help me out, sir? What would I get out of it? Nothing. He get nothing. Is that so bad? You'd just be helping out another citizen. And is that so bad? For Christ's sake, I don't reckon it's that bad, but of course people like this, people like you, you're not gonna change just because of a few simple words I'm saying. So you know, just get the hell out of here. Go! I said go! let you in on a little secret. Is that all right, Mr. Winston? People in law don't want to hear stories like this. In fact, people in general don't either. Are you calling me a liar? Listen, if you want to get out of here quick, then there's things you have to realize. It's never a clear-cut thing, Mr. Winston. You can't just see people from sheer appearance or just trust that they'll believe you. You must look deeper. And that's not just in law, that's simply life. At least how that's I see it. If you are to see people for who they are, not what they look like, then I think you have a good shot of getting out of this. Not just this case, but this self-dilemma you seem to have against yourself. Your story needs some work, yes, but I think we can do it. Look, I'm not just going to sit here and be insulted like this. I'm out. Hey! Hey, what the hell is going 